Hey guys, this is Tommy with So Easy Solutions, and um, today I'm going to show you how you can connect Eventbrite to your high-level database. And what I mean by that is you're sending out uh, invitations to an event. This happens to be an event coming up, and you want to know when people uh, buy a ticket to that event, and you don't want to communicate and send out more emails to people who have already registered. So it's actually pretty simple. You need an Eventbrite, you need a, uh, you need Zapier, and you need High Level. So let me show you how you do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Zapier here. Let's create a new Zap. And you have to be careful because YouTube gets really cranky when you show uh, data uh, or uh, personalized CRM information of other people. So I had to make a fake database. So let's go for our trigger. Our trigger is going to be Eventbrite. Let's click on here. Okay, Eventbrite. And what it's going to do is let's say let's choose an event is going to be new attendee registered. Bam. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose organization. That's me, sure. I'm going to pick an event. There's our event. Bam. Continue. Test the trigger. It's not going to find any attendees here, so we can skip skip that test. Here's all the information that came to. Okay. Now we're going to hit continue. Okay. Now what do we want to connect it to? Let's we have to type lead connector. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to. What do we want to do? We want to update the contact. We want to add some tags to them. Okay. Now we have to choose an account. Okay. We've got to create a new account. First thing we got to do is go over to our, uh, our sub account here. And then we have to go and get our API key. Here's our API key. Let's copy it, copy to the desktop. Okay. Now we go back here. Create a new account. Paste the key. Bam. There we go. Continue. Now we have to enter in. We want to get our first name. And we want, oh, last name. We want email. Now, it won't go unless... You, at the bottom here, we have to find out if we're going to mark them as a lead. So let's go mark as lead. This is required. Yes, let's mark them as a lead. And then what we want to do is we want to give them a tag. So let's tag them. And there is tag. We're going to name it uh, uh, demo uh, demo underscore. We know what this is. Okay, perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit continue. Okay, no email. Let's test it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to, to our demo account here. It's so easy. There it is. Zap, zap here. There it is. There's our test connected. Now all this data is fake except for my email. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to publish this thing. Take a few moments here. Okay. So now let's go and let's sign up for this bad boy. Serve a spot. Permit. Don't keep me updated. Okay. So I've registered. Now let's go look at our zap here that we did. Let's name it. Right, 
app so easy. Okay. And we can see that it is on. We can see, let's see history. Let's get information. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go over here. Let's go back over. Here's Tommy. Here I am. Look at that tag. Demo zap tag. We go into our contact. We have our tag there, right there. So that worked brilliantly. Worked brilliantly. This is Tommy with So Easy Solutions. Thanks for uh, taking the time to watch this video. If you need more help with your automation or building your business, I know someone who can help. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you later. Bye.